All right, welcome back to Coffee and Crypto. I'm Brad, and in this video, I really want to dive in for the beginners on exactly what a grid bot is, how it works, and just how easy it is to set one up. So let's go ahead, get your coffee, and let's go get some crypto. So if you ever noticed one of your favorite coin pairs pumping more than 20%, or you see it pumping so you get in and then it just takes a nosedive, and you bought the top, sold the bottom. So how do you overcome the psychological barriers that's involved in trading? Well, that's where Pinex comes in and the grid bots allow you to, you know, buy the bottom and sell the top. Now it's super simple and all you gotta do is select your favorite coin pair, select the price range you think it'll stay in, select how much funds you want to put inside the bot, and it will equally distribute all the funds inside the bot, allowing you to make profits on every single trade that happens inside your grid, allowing you to buy the bottom and sell the top. So you're able to make money in a market that never sleeps, and you can make money while you sleep. Once you come to Pinex, now you're probably gonna receive a referral link or if you need a referral link there is one provided below my video in the description and you will be greeted with a page that looks like this so you'll be greeted with a little picture of yoda if you click on my link it'll say digital b23 has recommended you to pinex so you will simply need to enter your email password click send and open your email and it will give you a verification code and you will continue the sign up process now kyc is not mandatory unless you plan on withdrawing more than two bitcoin per day so that is something that is completely awesome to me and then you will need two-factor authentication to complete the sign-up process. This is to help keep your account 100% secure. So just keep in mind whatever device you set up your two-factor authentication on, it will be something that you need to have access to in order to sign in on the exchange and once you get signed in you will be greeted with a page that looks like this so you can just scroll through here a uh, couple of tutorials and videos facebook you know if you want to reach out to them on twitter follow them on telegram reddit medium stuff like that and that is the front home page so if you click trade, that will just take you to Bitcoin USDT and you will see here's the order book over here. These are all the orders that are listed to sell. Here's all the listed to buy. And yeah, so here's the bots over here. But before you do this, you will need to deposit cryptocurrencies onto the exchange. So in order to do that, come over here and click this. It's a little drop down button. I'd click mine, but I don't want to share my account balance with you. So just click on this and click on deposit. And you will see a page that looks a lot like this. So simply come over here and select what coin you would like to transfer to Pinex. Now Pinex currently does not offer the option to purchase cryptocurrencies with fiat. So you can't use your bank account, your debit card, credit card. You can't purchase cryptos with that. You already need to have them. If you're in America and do not currently own any Bitcoin, I highly recommend you use Cash App. Um, it can be found in the Google Play Store. I'll leave a link 
in my video and it is what I consider a cryptocurrency on-ramp. So it will allow you to use your bank account to purchase Bitcoin, which then you can send to this exchange. Now, whatever cryptocurrencies you have, only click the corresponding crypto coin pair on here. So if you have Litecoin, click on Litecoin. Do not click on Bitcoin and send your Litecoin to the Bitcoin wallet as there's a good chance that it will be permanently lost. Vice versa, don't send Bitcoin to, you know, Bitcoin Cash or Binance Coin or anything else. Those are completely separate coins. You don't need to mess with them. If you simply have Bitcoin and want to transfer it, click the very top one that says Bitcoin. Now you will copy this and paste it into the Cash App and or whatever, you know, wherever your cryptocurrency is at, here's the link or the address you will be sending it to. And if you need to take a picture, you can simply move your mouse over that, get picture, and there you go. It is going to be sent. It says it will show up after three block confirmations. In my personal experience, that's anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes on average. Now, if it's a day where Bitcoin is really pumping or really dumping, I've seen it take all the way up to seven, eight hours. So just keep that in mind. If you do, still don't see it on here after 24 hours, I highly encourage you to reach out to support. Now, if you message them on Telegram, keep in mind there are a ton of scammers on Telegram. So do not give any of your personal information. And if they contact you first, it is not an admin. Do not respond. Admins will request that you direct message them first and they will take care of you. So my suggestion, if you do go to Telegram, simply say, is there admin on? And then you will be able to talk directly message whoever's on so let's go back over to here here's all the separate bots now i'm not a financial advisor i don't offer financial advice i am simply a guy on youtube sharing my experience with you so this is a demonstration video i'm not going to tell you that these are good settings or bad settings let's take a look and if you think that these are a little off, you can click set yourself and manually change these. So if you look here and see that these are good settings for you, then you will need $270.86 to create this bot. So let's say you are a small guy who doesn't have that much money then simply come down here to set yourself and say you like the top and the bottom prices just click right here I'll automatically use the AI settings and you would need to come down to here and you would need to lower this so it's currently set 96 so let's go ahead and change that to 76 so it dropped it down to $210, change it to 56, dropped it to 156. So you can change this or you can change the prices up here. Now keep in mind that this number right here will change. So you're making your grids larger. Every time you make this number smaller, so you will have less volatility, you'll do less trades. It's not a bad thing, it's just gonna be a much slower process. So there's no right or wrong way to do this, especially when you're having huge pumps and dumps and pumps and dumps like what we've been seeing, you know, 
in history for the last couple of days. So yeah, I mean, with huge pumps like that and then huge dumps and huge dumps and, you know, pretty significant pump, but I'm still waiting for the pump to keep going. So, you know, currently we're having a red clearance sell on uh, all cryptocurrencies. So get them while they're cheap. But uh, yeah, you'll just need to adjust these settings until you find one that's comfortable for you, one that, you know, you can fit. So for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to use the AI settings. And you can see here, we'll go to create. Now, you can slide this up as high as you want. So if you want to throw everything you have into it, you can do that. Um, I have to use 37. It won't let me go lower than that. It tells me I need to have more. So we'll just do the bare minimum on this since it's just for a trading video. And let's see. Eh, right now is a pretty good time to get in. I think it's just going to come down a little and then keep going up. It's all speculation. You will notice I do not offer any signals of my own. I, that's not where I have my strong suit, so I definitely recommend you follow someone for your technical advice or signals on what coin pairs and listings to trade. Don't follow me. I'm just a guy on YouTube. So you can see I have another trade currently open. It looks like it's pretty brutal but I have a lot lower for it to go and it's actually making me really good profit so I'm just going to leave it running until that's a positive number and leave it running a lot longer than that. So this is a grid once it's set up. So once it comes up and tags this red line you just sold a little bit of Bitcoin and a new green line will up here down here now once it comes down and touches a green line you just bought some bitcoin and a new red line will appear up here so it is fully automated it runs on the cloud so there's no need for you to do anything so let's zoom out to four hour and all right so let's go to one day so yeah you have set this to be your very bottom and this to be your very top. So as long as the price stays in between here, it's just going to play ping pong between all these lines, making buys and sells. And every time it creates one, you know, or every single time it sells, a new buy is going to be created. Every time it creates a sell, a new buy is going to be created. So it's pretty good. I mean, it does absolutely nothing except for what you tell it to. It's just going to bounce between these lines. So if it comes all the way down, now at that point you have two options. You can either wait for it to come back. I mean, you, if this was back here, it fell out. So it would have been pretty scary to see it come all the way down here. But had you done nothing at all, eventually it would have came back in and it would have continued and you would have made profits on all this. So yeah, there would be about two month stretch where you wouldn't have had any movement at all. Or you could just set tight and did that. Or you could push the cancel button, changed your parameters and got this thing going again so if it comes all the way out the top then you have sold all your Bitcoin for profit and at that point you would need to either again wait for it to come back down or hit the cancel button and start a new bot so yeah 
it's just going to sit here and play ping pong and if it comes down tags that it's going to buy some bitcoin so i'll have more bitcoin than what i started with if it tags that then i have more usdt than i started with so it's a win-win in my book so i highly encourage you to just you know pick wisely make sure you have a good top good bottom and just sit back and let it do its thing check on it daily weekly um i mean unless there's huge price alerts or whatever there's really no reason to interrupt it if it's working now if it's not working up to your you know snuff then feel free to cancel it experiment change stuff ask for tips and tricks on the discord or any other place you can reach out to me if you have any questions or are looking for anything so that about sums up the introduction and how to set up a grid trading bot so i will wrap things up and see y'all in the next one Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to the very latest on all that you know Pinex has to offer as I release new videos. Feel free to leave a comment as I do read each and every one of them. If you have suggestions on a topic that you would like me to discuss, feel free to mention it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And until next time. Keep the coffee hot and the trades even hotter.